Over 50 student interns who took advantage of UCLan's 2010 Undergraduate Research Internship Scheme showcased their work recently at an academic poster presentation. The initiative, coordinated by the Centre for Research Informed Teaching, drew together students from across the arts, sciences, health and business to work alongside academic staff on a huge variety of projects for a period of up to 10 weeks. This is an opportunity for them to tell the university, to tell st other students and other members of staff what they've been up to. And we've had a brilliant turnout today. We've had students here, we've had heads of school, vice-chancellors, pro-vice-chancellors, deans, and they've all been really enthused by the, uh, the, the passion that these students have shown um, about the research that they've done. It's a brilliant, brilliant thing to do because you're working with a lecturer, someone that's a sort of an expert within the field. You get to put what you're doing into practice within your degree and you get to really understand the, the discipline that you're, you're working within and it's a really good experience. I've learned how to capture the data, how to analyse the data, how to reproduce the graphs. Um, the whole organisational element has been a learning curve for me as well, so I, yeah, I've got so much out of it really. I didn't know the things I would get out of the project, I was a bit unsure, um, but after being on the project I'd definitely uh, say to anyone to go for it and you get things out of it that you wouldn't imagine. It's helped me sort of project manage, uh, research, um, how to actually research within the field. And I want to go and study further, maybe PhD level, and um, start lecturing in university and continue sort of researching. Tim Morozgalski, whose research into how bamboo could reduce poverty and pollution, was one of the commended projects. Uh, the project's basically a 10 week project um, studied in the School of Built and Natural Environment. Uh, we were looking at um, social life cycle assessment tools uh, in order to assess the needs of Vietnamese um, communities uh, in the hope of growing bamboo. Uh, the project's been worthwhile, uh, it's been difficult, um, but I think what we've found uh, it has been worthwhile and I've enjoyed it, yeah. First prize went to Kelly Hamilton, whose research compared real and simulated galaxies to help with scientists' understanding of the underlying principles of galaxy formation. Uh, the main aim of my project was to understand a bit more the dis differences between real and simulated galaxies. So I did this by making a few pieces of software that looks at galaxies analytically, so it gets out an, a number value. So this way we can understand galaxies and plot them and, and truly get to what it is that is the underlying features of the galaxy. A uh, fantastic experience, um, you get the chance to really try research before you actually take the plunge and uh, commit to a year or three years. Um, it really is a chance to, to try something new because as an undergraduate you don't really get the freedom that you do as, as an intern and uh, yeah it's great, fantastic. The, the quality has been absolutely exceptional. It's been an outstanding event. I think with this is the third year that we've run this and I think we'll look back on this as a vintage year because the students have really excelled themselves this year. I mean, every year they exceed our expectations, but people have been coming up to me through the event and saying how good the students are this year and how it's, it feels just like an academic conference. You wouldn't know that these were undergraduate students and that's exactly what we're trying to achieve with this event. The concept of undergraduate research is gaining widespread popularity at UCLan and an undergraduate research society believed to be the first in the UK has now been formed by UCLan students. In April 2011, the society will play a key role as UCLan hosts the first British conference of undergraduate research. I think this university has a really healthy research culture. It's healthy because it's developing new knowledge and challenging theories and uh, making new discoveries, which is what a university should do. But what's really healthy about it is that we involve our undergraduate students in that process. So there's no separation between our undergraduate students and our research. It's something that's deeply embedded in the way that we teach here.